Today is going to be a PE Central Challenge Day, which we're going to do with fourth and fifth grade. And there's a series of six different challenges. Three of them are individual challenges that they'll do on their own for a certain amount of time. And three of them they do with a partner or small group to try and complete the challenge. We'll take a quick look at the challenges here. This first one is called the Paddle Strike. And obviously the kids are trying to get a racket or a paddle. They're going to be keeping the ball up in the air for one minute. So this is an individual timed event. We've got different size rackets and we've got some, some paddles there. They grab a hula hoop and any type of ball that they want. And they've got to keep the ball up in the air for one minute. And if they can do that, then they can complete that challenge. Today's a practice day, so they're just going to go and see how far they can get and just see where they're at uh, in relation to that one minute time frame. Another one is the jump rope challenge. It's a minute and a half of continuous jump rope with no misses. So they'll have to get a rope and start jumping, see if they can go for a minute and a half without missing. Down at another station over here, we've got some stations spread out around the gym today. This one's a group challenge, a small group of three where they're called Bally Up. They're going to get a ball. They're going to make a triangle and they're going to try to get 10 hits in a row without anyone touching it twice or without anyone using any open underhanded hits. 10 legal hits in a row and a group of three bumping or setting the volleyball. One of the other challenges over here today is the hula hoop challenge. So this one is an individual one where they'll do for 20 seconds. That's 20 seconds without a, uh, without a miss or without it hitting the, the floor, I guess you should say. So that's that station. We've got a partner throw and catch up here with a variety of types of equipment in the bucket. So they can choose anything they want to play catch with. And the directions are here. They've got to get 30 catches in a row without dropping it. Distance of 25 feet. I have them go white line to white line down here. That's where they got to throw back and forth. That's about 30 feet. It's a little bit more than 25, but if they can do it from white line to white line, then when it comes testing time, they'll be, they'll be good. And then finally down here, we've got a the balance beams. This is a partner cooperative challenge with balance beams. So they'll get a person on each end of the balance beam and they'll travel to the middle and they'll switch positions, travel to the opposite end, and then turn around and go back. So they've got to switch places twice. Now there's no right or wrong way to do it, but uh, you, know, you can see we've got a couple pictures here of different ways that they can try it. And they're going to try to do that cooperative balance with a partner. So we've got six challenges today set up in the gym for the kids to try. Um, some of them they'll be able to do right away. Some of them will take a little bit more practice. And then throughout the year, we'll have some testing days where I'll test jump rope or I'll test tennis or we'll be testing partner balance beam. And any student that wants to try to attempt that, to complete that challenge, they can try it as many times as they want until they can pass it. Now, once they pass it, I check that off on my list. And once students get four out of the six challenges completed, they get their name up here on the PE Central Challenge Award Board. We would put their name up in the bronze level. And if they get five, they go up here to silver. And if they can do all six, then they go over here to the gold level. And at the end of the school year, we give out some, I order these pins for the students to take home if they reach the bronze, silver, or gold level.